Welcome to Exploring China VR360 Walking Tour. My name is Botai. I'm Shu. VR Tour means when you are listening to me at the same time, you can swipe the screen, see around just like Google Street View. Try it now. Here we are walking on Shennong Street, an old street in Thailand city. You may already know that Thailand city is a harbor city, but you may not know. Taiwan, this name is came from Tainan. Taiwan, Tainan sounds different, right? But let me tell you why. There was a harbor called Taiwan Harbor. It's doing international trade in ancient time. And because it's so famous, so all the world map has a mark for this place. So later on, everybody know Taiwan, this harbor, as Taiwan Island. Okay, Botai, you know where are we going today? As I know, today we are going to Marshall Temple for worshiping, right? Yes, but before we go to the Marshall Temple, we will go to the morning market first. And this morning market is over 300 years old. And we are going to purchase some fruit and biscuits for offering. Okay, yes. And after that, we will go to an incense shop. And this incense shop is very special because it's over a hundred years old. And I heard the incense over there are all handmade and use the natural materials. Yeah, really natural. And after that, we will go to temple. So, are you ready, Botai? Let's go to the morning market first. Yeah, do you know a city, the morning market is the best start point. Okay, so let's go. Follow us. Yeah. We are now at the entrance of Shui Xian Gong Market. This market is already more than 300 years. And we are going to find some fruit at this market for World Champion in the temple. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Here is Shui Xian Gong Market, where the name comes from. This is the Shui Xian Gong Temple. And normally, temple and the market, they will set it up together. Because normally in front of the temple, there will be a big square. And there will be the ceremony comes. All the people, they will do the themes in front of the temple. Make a show to uh, please the God. And okay. we can see. Okay, so now look at this. Um, this yellow paper, and you can see that so many names here, like the name, and this is the, the, the dollar. And it means like when, when the temple, they hold some activities, and some people like donate some money to this temple to help them to do the uh, activities. So this means they show people that uh, they appreciate those people to donate. Yeah. And just at the corner, we will see a bakery that's over 100 years. And what they are selling is the uh, traditional things that is for worshiping to the god as well. And let me show you something interesting. For example, uh, in the old era, 
People are not rich as now we are. So if we want to worship into the God, they need to prepare like a fish, chicken, pork. But if you cannot afford for the real one, then we can do something for alternate. For example, this is a uh, fish, this is a chicken, this is a pork, not a steak. And we have something other. For example, you can see this one is a it's a peach chef. We call it the live peach. And the live peach that means if, if we are worshiping to the god, we call we after we worshiping we can eat this one. We can get a long life, which have the same function. We can see the noodle like this. We also call this noodle long life noodle. And sometimes when like a god's birthday or the family, some like a grandmother's birthday, we will cook this long life noodle to hope, to wish of my grandmother can live longer and get good healthy. And we have some other themes, for example, also for the long life, you can see the red one. If you can see into the detail, it's a turtle shell, and you can see the turtle shell. We call it Angu Gui in Taiwanese, and it's my favorite one. And also, in inside, actually, it's a red bean. It's a sweet thing, and it's made by rice. And after it's a steam, still it's warm. It's just so fresh. May I buy one? Yeah. Uh, I I and also you can see uh, this spread, we call it Hua Gui in Taiwanese. And Hua Gui, uh, it implies rich. So if you eat this spread, they will make you rich. And we, we worship into the God for rich. Oh, you see this. It's uh, our currency for 100 Taiwanese dollar. And the man sitting there is our national father. And the currency rate now, uh, compared to the US dollar, is 1 to 30. That means 30 Taiwanese dollar, we can change and get 1 US dollar. Hey, you need me here. Now we are going to buy fruit. And you can see in this market, not only the fresh ones, also there are some uh, well done and already ready to eat food. It's the soybean product. In Taiwan, we have so many vegetarians, and what they can eat, they have no uh, meat, so we have the fake meat. And it, it sometimes it made the shape or the taste just like a meat. For example, like the like duck, like the chicken. Yeah, and so all here is uh, made by the beans.
So here is um, a fruit shop. We are just in this uh, uh, tiny alley and we are going to buy some fruit. And for the gap, um, let's, let's see what we can find here. We can find an apple. And you know, apple actually in our tradition, they have special meaning because uh, apple in Taiwanese, oh no, in Mandarin, we call it Pingguo, which also have the same sound and we implies the Pingguo, Ping, means implies to be Ping An, means peace. So Pingguo implies peace. And there are some fruit, other, uh, other fruit like uh, banana. Banana, we call it Xiangjiao uh, in Mandarin. And actually, also we can see it's a shape like a hand. So it's a great thing. Great thing, a good thing. Coming, coming. And as you can see, maybe uh, here are some fruit you would never see in your place. This one, really sweet. We call it Buddha's hate. And as you can see some others, oh, this one, pineapple. Pineapple, uh, we also uh, very frankly, you can see in the temple because uh, pineapple in Taiwanese called on lai, which means all the things getting good. So you will see frequently everybody will take this one to the temple for worshiping. Now it's in season. You can see mango. In Taiwan, we have so many different kinds of uh, uh, mangoes, as I know, more than 15 different kinds. And here, here are different types of mango. Do you have the same thing in your country? And what you get here? So, okay, so we get some apples, bananas, and some mangoes. Mango? Yeah. Wow. Actually, I really want to eat this now. <laughs> What's this? Ah. Yeah. So, Tao, we, we purchased the themes from the bakery. Yeah. But not now. After work shipping, that's yeah, yours. Yeah, but it looks so delicious. <laughs> so, which one you want to have later? Yeah. Which sure. one? Which one? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I like the salt as well, the peach. Ah. Oh. Because of the shape or the flavor? Flavor, actually. Okay. It's red actually, bean. Um, red for bean. the shape, sometimes oh. we will. I will feel like a, it looks like a butt. Oh, yeah, true. You want to try the grasses? <laughs> Not now. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to buy some incense 
then go to the temple. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Let's grab some incense. Hello, Wendy. Hi, hi. Long time no see. Yeah, that's true. How, how's your day? It's awesome. I just came from the Shui Xian Gong market. Mm, you buy something? Yeah, I'm looking for um, the incense for workshipping because later on ah. I'm going to a uh, martial temple. Okay, okay. Can you introduce me yeah. about something? Yeah, first we'll come to Wu Wan Chun Incense Store. And in here you can see our store, we have two pots of incense. So in here is like um, the traditional incense for workshop. And in here is the incense for like uh, casual use or more for your lifestyle. Wow, that's so good. And if for workshipping you say that I should pick all those ones, yeah. but here has so many, yeah. which one I should pick? Yeah, so we have different size, but the size is about the uh, burning timing. But um, you can try for the the smell. Ah, it, it smell like uh, some like a Chinese medicine, is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for the traditional incense, we have two kind of wood powder because the stick is made by wood powder. Mm -hmm. um, the bamboo stick with um, the so wood powder and Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. Mainly we have two kinds of wood powder. Is uh, One is Tan Mu, so it's the Sendo wood. And mm -hmm. you can see the other is, this is Aga, mm, okay. Aga wood, Chen Mu. And oh. so we use the wood powder with Chinese medicine. You can see here. Oh, so this, those are the real one and then make it into powder and later on make this incense. Yeah. All organic. All organic. Yeah, you know, this remind me sometimes when I go into the temple, when somebody are lighting up the incense, all the temple are smoky. Mm. And sometimes I will feel my eyes yeah. uncomfortable and ready to cry. You, you know? want to cry. Yeah. And how about this one? It's what, what happened to that incense there? Yeah, so the, the, um, the incense you say you want to grab because it's um, from the chemical inside. But in here you can see we use all the, the Chinese medicine, Chinese herb, and we mix it with the wood powder. So it's totally organic. And wow. the smell, like this smell is also helpful for our body, it's really healthy. Wow, that's a good, like a, when meditation, somebody will mm. also use like a kind of incense yeah. with a good smell. Yeah. And so the meditation will go to more deep. Yeah, pure in your mind, your soul. Wow, that's so good, yeah. it's awesome. And I know it's an old handmade incense, so where sure. you did it? Okay. I think you are super lucky. Today we have the demonstration upstairs. The oh. master is doing the incense now. Do you really? want to take a look? May I? Yeah. Let yeah. me show you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And you Today can I'm see. I'm super lucky, man. Mm -hmm. What's this? This is also the wood powder. Ah, the powder for this one. Yeah. Wow. So we can good. see more. Yeah. Hi, Now we can see this is a studio for Master Wu. He's doing 100% uh, handmade traditional incense. So this is the first time, the first layer for the incense. We can see 
he used the powder and he's putting the incense into the water. So the water would, with the, the powder and Chinese herb, it would be the organic group and the glue can stitch all the powder together. Yeah, it should be really accurate for how deep for this incense. And let me show you, this is the Chinese herb and also the wood powder. And these are the incense master wood already made. So we can see Master would do is really easy. It seems easy to do it, but I don't think I can do it like this. So Master would started this career since he was 16. 16 years old, I was just high school student. And till, till now, he did all this incense for 50 years already. Wow. You see? And Master would, he would spray the incense just like Chinese fan. Or you can say it's peacock tail. And the following step is to spray all the incense because now uh, after um, the powder with glue all together, it's still wet. So we have to dry it to the balcony. And to dry all this incense, there is the, the next step. So Master Wood will spray all the incense as the flower. It would be very beautiful moment to, to doing this. Okay. Keep watch, keep watch. Let's see. Yes. Wow. You see? This is amazing. So why is he need to spray it out like a flower? Yeah. So for a bunch of incense, if you spray it like this, so every instant incense can be uh, independent, like individual shape. And so in the traditional way, uh, master would they would spray all the flower, incense flower to the balcony and uh, to dry it in the rooftop for four to six hours. Oh, yeah. so means if you need to uh, put it under the sunshine, so how about a raining day, a cloudy day? Yeah, that's the problem. You can do it in raining day or without sunshine. Oh. So, so Master would told us, um, it really depends on the weather condition. Oh. But no worry, luck, luckily we are in Tainan and we have always sunshine, nice weather here. Wow. Yeah. So I'm curious about one thing. Yeah. Is the incense in the beginning, is it for like uh, the bye bye ritual? Mm. Is it for the temple, the reli uh, religion purpose, or it has uh, some purpose before? Yeah. So for incense, we have really deep story. Um, in the beginning, incense doesn't use for worship. So, um, you know, we have so many native gods, like Taiwanese gods like this. Uh, we go to temple to pray, and we have so many statues for god and goddess. So this is, these are our native gods. Um, so, for the beginning of the incense, the story was thousand years ago. It was the legion. Um, so we have a, a goddess, she's a fairy who managed for nine heavens. Wow, she's really a manager. And she's a very, very kind lady. And 
she she is she care about um, all the people and so the story was the fairy her father was serious sick so there was one day her father uh, when when she wake awake her father and she found that her father was serious sick and he couldn't move and he couldn't wake up so the fairy tried to give her her father the Chinese medicine and in traditional way to take Chinese medicine usually they have to uh, cook it as a soup so but by the time her father was too sick to swallow for the Chinese herb so she has really big brain she is super clever she tried to um, use the Chinese herb into to make Chinese herb into the powder and with this powder he he invented the first stick for incense so he stick the powder and burn it so if you can swallow everything but I mean as human being you must breathe so we, when she burned the incense and her father breathed, like um, even the first few days he's still sick. But every day the fairy um, should know that okay, her father seems get well a bit. So by breathing, breathing the this air from the from the incense, so he took the medicine. So I think it's different with. Western medic medicine and the therapy, because uh, in the past, like uh, chi Chinese culture, we 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 think okay, if you want to be healthy, it's not like instantly healthy. Like if you nowadays we take pill and we solve the symptom really quick, but but they think okay, this is not the way. And in the past, they they have no clinic or doctor. You can call ambulance no. So. So she's the one invented the, the the first incense, and this is from her kindness. So with this tradition, like people people memorial memory her as the fairy and the goddess for for um, everyone. And so, create this way to yeah. um, to uh, cure all the sickness, yeah. not by swallow some medicine, yeah. but by smell. Yeah. So oh, it's the legend it come from then. So he's the creator and inventor. This way, like uh, how to say in English, uh, uh, the therapy. The therapy, yeah, yeah. By the perfume or by other yeah. the way that by smell. Just like nowadays, so many girls we use the fragrant or essential essential therapy because by smell is is something like go into your body, go through your body. It's not just take pill and it's like oh, super quick and you get solve the problem. But by smell, it's more deep and, and this process could keep your healthy longer. Yeah, and I remember here in this uh, 100 year old shop, there are some more incense, not only for the bye-bye uh, ritual, yeah. it's also for like the uh, meditation. Yeah. For casual use for uh, living living room or some other. Can you show me? Yeah, of course. Downstairs in our store, we have more uh, incense for casual use and more for your lifestyle. And okay, that's so good. And um, let's go. Okay, let me show you. So now we can see this is the process how the master will um, dry in the incense after the bottle is sticking to the powder. You can do it gently with your hands. You can do it with your hands. This is like a chocolate. Yeah, chocolate flavor.
um, except the religion use, you, you just mentioned some of the incenses for the casual use. Yes, yes. What's that? This here, you can see all these products is for casual use. But mainly we have two parts. So now here you can see the colorful, the fancier one is, um, this is from Japan and imported from maybe South Asia. So it's more like a uh, fragrance. You like uh, the flavor is just like perfume. Oh, so if I would like to use more traditional, mm. I should pick uh, those ones. Yes. And I should find it's a different shape of box. So what's the different? Is it really different? Mm, yeah. So the difference is from the shape. You can see it. For example, this is the the incense in stick shape. It's just similar with the one we just see. And so for this, you can put in the holder, this like stylish holder. And uh, so usually for stick incense, it's like, it takes around 30 to 40 minutes. So, uh, but for example, if you want to use it for the night and every 30 minutes, you have to wake up to light it again. And it's just inconvenient. So what's the solution if I don't want to wake up and yeah. to light up? So different? <laughs> so we have different shape for the incense. This is the incense with ah, round shape. Yeah. It's a, like a spiral. So yeah. it keeps longer, right? Yes, yes. You can see here in the holder. Ah, so yeah. like a little lotus flower, we just put this uh, spiral one on it. Yes. So it takes longer to uh, finish the incense. For example, maybe three to four hours. And with the larger one, maybe it takes 24 hours to finish it. Wow, it's so clever. Mm. 24 hours means it's a function as a clock, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just like in the traditional way, uh, some people use, it, use the incense to calculate time. Yeah, I just heard like in the ancient China, mm. people, they don't have a watch. Yeah. And when they are taking the examination, they use the incense to measure the time. True. This, uh, this uh, uh, text start and test finished just by the length of the incense. True, true. And I just see uh, this uh, different shape. What's this? Yep. Why is it uh, like a cone? Yeah, you see, it's like cone. So with this uh, mountain shape incense, it's different usage. So we started from the point and when it goes, it's burnt um, going to the down part, the, it goes wider. So it means the flavor comes stronger. Also, if I have a bigger room, yeah. I'm taking a meeting, and the meeting is a bigger one, I need to uh, make it a good smell yeah. in a short time. So I use this one, right? Yes, in 20 to 30 minutes, you can get all the room with really nice smell. Yeah, and is it also functional to keep the mosquito away? Uh, yes, we do have the specific herb for keep insect and mosquito away, but not every every type of incense. Also, I just ask, right? If yes. I want to purchase the one, they can keep the mosquito away. Just ask, oh, which one is for left function? Yes. So oh. we have this ai cao. Oh, so bigger pet pet yeah. because of a lot of mosquitoes. M many mosquitoes. I want to pick this one. Huh? Yes. Now you can get mosquito-free environment. Thank you. I really need this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I think since I get one really functional souvenir and to make my room good smell and also healthy, mm, I think it's a, I'm ready to go to the next step because today uh, Sue still waiting for me. Mm -hmm. I'm to uh, worship him to uh, to the God in the Marshall Temple. Yeah. So I have to say goodbye to you, Wendy. Yeah. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Sure, sure, sure. And thanks a lot. I appreciate. Yeah. Thank you. To have good and uh, have a good day. I will. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Kalis. Bye bye. Bye. Now here we are in front of Marshall Temple. It's also called Guan Gong Temple. This temple is over 350 years and estimated to built in 1666. The Guan Gong is a real person and people honor him as his justice, loyalty and strength. You know, in the legend, 
he is also very good at managing finance. So who will worship him for him? He's also known as a god of accountants. And the police are also worshiping. Okay, so for Thai, we are going to worship two gods in this temple. One is Guan Gong and the other one is matchmaking god. If you are single, if you are single, you can ask God to give you a good relationship. Let's go. Let's go. And find what we can find today. And as you see, there we can see a plot plan of this temple. There will be 10 parts of this temple. Every part has a God for worshiping. And before we took this video, actually we already worshiped him for once for our respect yes. to all the goddess. Mm. Normally, when we are going to enter one temple, there will be three doors. The middle one, left hand side and right hand side. The middle one is only for the god. For example, there will be some ceremony, some god, I, god from the other temple, like uh, if Guan Gong's birthday, the god from other temple, they will be on a chair and then come in here for a birthday party. And the left hand door, we call it a dragon door. Right hand door, we call it tiger door. Always go inside from the dragon door. Left hand side. How to say left hand side? From the god's view. And left hand side is a dragon one. Just follow me. Okay, so let's buy some Purpose. Find something for worshipping. Today we are going to go the full sequence of our worshipping. Before that, we are going to prepare something like this. Joss paper. Joss paper is like the money for the God. And so that they can spend in the heaven, right? So in the meaning, you can also say, oh, we are going to worship him for the God, ask some question. So it's like, uh, oh, Sun Yixian, our national father again. Okay. Yep. To put the, uh, For the currency in the donor and get the joss paper. So it's a more like a, a consultant fee. Or more locally, we can say uh, it's a like a, um, to pay our respect and the appreciate for the God for every day, 24 hours. Seven days looking after us. So we are in the main hall of Guan Gong Temple. Su is uh, going to put the offering on the desk. Not only the juice paper, today we prepare some food for the God. And we get a uh, uh, red plate. Uh, from the temple uh, we borrow from the temple normally there with some place so if you get an offering you want to put a, uh, you are looking for a plate just ask and you can find the plate is actually in a red color you know red color in Taiwan that means a uh, lucky it's uh, actually the Chinese uh, uh, thinking and philosophy we know like uh, for example happy new year everybody will wear in red and at the corner of a temple normally we will get some incense it's a free one so if you uh, didn't purchase anything you can still get a free incense no worries then we lighten up all the incense by the incense burner you know even if even as we are now in the Guan Gong Temple, but there is one God, God of the universe. We should worship Him first before we worship Him to Guan Gong. We call the God of the universe Jade Emperor in Chinese, Yu Huang Da Di. So it's the way uh, we worship Him to the God. So after Su do this bye-bye ritual, 
with the incense. And she put uh, three incense in the incense burner. And because of Jade Emperor, she's, his rank is so high, so he get three incense. Th three in Chinese philosophy that means much, a lot. So three incense is already a lot. And uh, for other uh, goddess in the temple, they only need one incense, that's enough. So Su is now worshipping to the Guan Gong. And also, we need to put the incense in the incense burner. But this incense burner is only for Guan Gong. People come to temple not only for worshiping, sometimes they are also have some doubt. They need some hint from the God. So on the table, you can find the moon block. The moon block is a, a traditional Chinese tool. You can see what you call moon block because its shape. Its shape is already like a moon. And uh, how we can use this? It implies the no, yes, or I don't know. If it's like a, we throw onto the ground, if it's like a friendly on the ground, no shaking, that means no. But if um, it's like uh, uh, when there's a curve, it's on the ground, it can shake, shaking, right? So it's like a ha ha ha. Like I don't understand you are, what you are saying, or I just laughing. So you may do it again or ask again. And how can the God say yes? When the moon block, one is up with curve, one is down with plate. That means no. So, one down. Su, do you have anything you want to come out with Guan Gong recently? Yes, because I'm thinking to study PhD next year. So I'm not sure about it. So I will ask God for uh, the decision, if the decision is the good one or not. All right, then we can use the moon block to do this. Okay. Tech, could you please hold this for me? Yeah, why Thank not? Thank you. So she, Su is going to uh, state her name, her birthday, and her address so Guan Gong can identify who she is. And then after uh, we, we, we say in our mind, we will throw this uh, moon block onto the ground to see if the god say yes you see one is up one is down right that means yes so so you are lucky yeah. and sometimes if we want to more specific advice and not only yes or no then we have another intelligent tool we call it fortune stick this fortune stick, each one has a number on it. Before we can get one, actually, we need to also use a moon block to ask the Guan Gong whether I can get one, whether I can get one fortune stick. If he say yes, then we can get the one. And everyone has a number on it. For, the, for example, this one is said the number 65. Yes. So we will go take this one, take this one, and uh, we should, but we don't really sure whether it is one. We have to uh, double check with Guan Gong. So if you continuously by the moon block, you get a three years continuously, then it's friendly to be this 65. If any uncertainty or any no, you should throw, you should get another one. And then check three times if you get a three years. Okay, for example, now we already uh, get a three years and we are going to find the number 65 poultry from this box. This 65 one. is this one. From the box, you can find one poultry. This poultry is written in a Chinese, uh, a traditional Chinese. And the back side is an English version and the Japanese version. So it's a more specific, relevant, yes or no, right? 
So it's an intelligent Chinese way to get the answer, the hint from the God. So till now, it's the full sequence of how we communicate with the God. And do you remember in this Guangong temple, we are going to visit another God? I want to introduce the matchmaking God for you. In the Taoism temple, there will be so many different gods. They are sitting and settled up just in one place. And when we turn, if right turn, left turn, so many turns. Now, finally, we arrive in the matchmaking god. You can see from the incense burner, it's already different because you see a girl and see a boy at the side, and we are going to enter his temple. This god is called the matchmaking god. If you are looking for a new relationship, and uh, no matter you have or have not the incense with you, you can by your bare hand to ask uh, whether I can get some blessing of you and use the moon block. If you say yes, where is the blessing? The blessing is on the table. Can you see this? One red envelope, one red stream, and one pack of Enhun. Enhun is actually the incense powder, but people dye in into the uh, red color. And we will normally put all the things inside this red envelope. You see, O is red, that means good luck, right? And all the string has a long, has a short, each one is individual and different. If it's shorter, that means your relation is coming. It's just on the way, be patient. And after we get all these uh, uh, themes we put together, is it done? It, already I get approved from the, uh, the matchmaking god? No yet, you got to seal this. All the magic power from the smoke of the incense. You got to make a three round on the path to absorb some smoke from the incense. Then it's proved you are blessed by the God. Good, right? And uh, today, since I didn't uh, get the uh, moon block, I didn't get a yes, I will put, leave it back. So, if you didn't get a yes to get the blessing, don't be sad. Come in next time. Are you excited to join us for like a find a new relationship or worshiping in a Taoism temple? Now we have the last step. Do you remember we ever put the Joe's paper on the table in front of the Guangong. So where is the just paper should go in? You know, just paper, it need to like a ATM, transit into the heaven. How can we make this? We will burn in the just paper uh, by the just paper burner. You can see just in front of me. And people, uh, after uh, they worshiping, and when the incense maybe it take one hour to burn it out, then you can take your offering and just paper. Just paper is for uh, putting in the burner, but the fruit with the blessing of the guangong is for you to take home, to finish it and enjoy. And you know, all pack of the, uh, the just paper set, it normally has a, a some candies with it, or cookies, is also full of the blessing of the God. And you know, just paper, it has another name, we call it 
the golden pepper. Why we call it golden pepper? Because when you unbox it and all the sheets, it has a, a gold, a, a thin gold uh, layer just on each golden pepper. Maybe Sue can demonstrate to us yes. the gold sheet. You can see it's just a very pretty and there's the three goddess on it. And you know, there ever has a mistake uh, is uh, like a cultural theme. Like uh, ever has a foreigner think it's a note paper. So he write in some note on this uh, golden paper. But you know, this actually means the money and it's for the God. So never see this as a uh, not paper. So Sue is going to help us to do this. And you know, what's next? Next, we are going to a street food. Are you ex excited? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yes, absolutely. So, okay, so can we get something sweet if you like? Yeah, why not? H have you heard of Pong Tang? Pong Tang? Yeah. Wow, it's a traditional thing, right? Yeah. All right, so later we are going to see Pong Tang and the, the sugar painting. It's all made by the sugar, but it's really cultural, uh, all for historic, and we will see. Hey Su, I just find you finish your Pong Tang. Yes. And where is it? Da -da 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 Ta-da! Yeah, this one. Ah, it looks like a braid or something. Yeah, I think it's, it looks like balloon. Balloon? Yeah. Yep, and what's it test? It test raised weight. You want to test it? Yeah, I have some. Oh, oh. very fragile. Mm. Very fragile. It's so sweet. Yeah, it's very so sweet. So what's it made? Okay, so we can look at this one. Um, we have two kinds of sugar, the white one and the brown one. And after that, we add some water in it. We boil it and start to steal it really slowly. And after the sugar melts, then we put some, uh, just a little bit baking soda inside. Oh. Yeah, have you used that baking soda before? Not really, because I didn't do any bread in my, in my home. Yeah. I just purchased it. I can feel that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after we add the uh, baking soda inside, and it became like this. Wow. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's very beautiful. And I think it is a sweet. Mm. The traditional one is the best end for today. Yeah. And I hope you guys, if you one time ever been to Tainan, and this is a Pong Teng, it's only the thing you can find in Tainan. Yes. Try it down. Make it by yourself. Yeah, do it by yourself. Enjoy, and you will know all the chemistry that happen in Tainan City. Hope you guys come in soon. See you. Bye bye. bye. bye.